It's outstanding what he's done, to, the way he did it. You people should really be proud of him for the, his accomplishments. And I say congratulations again. I only have one more thing to say. MVP! All right, Oscar Robertson with some insider trading proclaiming that Russell Westbrook should be the NBA's MVP. <laughs> I feel it's premature. Here's my deal. You've got the Thunder playing the Rockets in the first round. Yes or no, McFly. Should the NBA just wait till the end of this series to crown the winner as the MVP? Well, no, because it's the MVP of the season, the yeah. regular season not the playoffs. All right, I thought it was a cool idea, obviously. It's a cool idea. From an and it's, and it's, standpoint, it From an entertainment standpoint, oh my God, <laughs> beautiful. But I feel like even if they don't say anything, it's still like that for a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, they waited until after the second round. Like, if you wanna believe that, you're gonna believe okay, that. Okay, fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I really do think that just looking at the regular season and with that said, Russell Westbrook has, has got to win it. Really? So Russell Westbrook is your MVP? Yes. Why are you still fighting? This? I'm fighting because James Harden. He's is your guy. guy. You cannot have his He's haircut. Your guy. Uh, you can't so have his haircut up. and it's go so against it. Up. It's determined. Listen. People said they weren't making the playoffs at the start of the season. He day. is the MVP. People said that about Houston. No. No, no, no they didn't. No, they didn't. They were a bubble team. They not like one seven. person said that. They were like, you mean, remember, this is the team that Dwight Howard Bro, just came left. Into this season with that was Risa. addition by subtraction. Like, no, they didn't. No, no one, no one came into the season thinking Houston was going to tear up the league. Look, not tear up the league, but we knew they were making the playoffs. Blown eighth spot, come on. Houston was great, let's, let's sure. Clear. Nobody's going, oh, Eric Gordon and, and, and Ryan Anderson are gonna play 50 plus games this yeah, year. Like, that hasn't happened in no, years. Exactly. So to be they've clear, to be clear, James, James Harden does have a very valid case Absolutely. to be the MVP of the National Basketball Association. And in any other year, but, uh, he probably gets it. And you know what? I okay. like I'll, I'll take that argument from Susan Zan. Lucci. This is a, this and, is a magical and be the bridesmaid year. Again. I will, I'll this give you guys that. Martin like, Scorsese. You're absolutely right. 50 point game. Scorsese. You're right, you're right. With triple doubles. You're right, and it sucks. Game winners It sucks on that you're Austin? right. Yo. For James Harden, it sucks that you're right. Because if you look at the numbers, it almost seems like he's fake. just 160 rebounds behind the guy in terms of an, an equally as impressive. What happened season. with Westbrook this year is almost his biggest story, if not bigger, that as what happened with Steph Curry last year. With it in, in uh, respect to like the three points and like getting to that points, point. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? and changing. That was what we were all watching. Okay, fine. End, like, Let's move on. Race. Let's move on. It's 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 Russell Westbrook's award. It's Russ. Although I'm still like dark horse co MVP. I'm still with that idea. If if you want it. Can we, can we, we gonna call it zero series? appreciation hour. You're, you're, Russell Westbrook. You're, you're, series you're is part of the problem. The series is gonna everyone gets a and that's really all that matters. I'm usually part of the problem. Okay, but here's the other question. Here's the other question. Here's the other question. Who? For each of these teams, who is going to be the second most important player? Because we already know the series is going to hang on the shoulders of Harden and Westbrook. But who's going to be that second guy for each team? Dan. It doesn't no matter. I, I mean, uh, really? for Oklahoma City, I think it's Adams. I think that guy is a wonderful complement to, uh, to Westbrook. He just defers and defers and defers. And then when you need him to get a a rebound or hit a shot, oh, boom. Right he also. made the pass. He was the one who made okay, the pass to that. Westbrook. He's in the already Denver there. Game. You know who I think is going to be the key and it was a great trade for them? Taj Gibson. Mm. Like, you talk about uh, McBuckets or whatever, but Taj Gibson gives them an edge at that four spot they never had. I think the wars he played in Chicago against Cleveland and well, different teams. Well, they had teams. Ibaka once. Perkins. Yeah, but he was he wasn't the same type of beast <laughs> down low. Because Russell's going to dominate the ball so much, Taj doesn't care about getting the ball. He's going to get his on the glass, play defense, make that mid-range jumper. Russell That's all does he miss a lot of shots. I'm going to ask McFly a different question. But quickly, I'll chime in with my guy. I think it's going to be Ennis Cantor because when West West was off the floor, Ariza. I think when Russell Westbrook's off the floor, they're going to need someone to run the offense through. And Cantor, one of the best post-up guys coming off the bench. Who you got? How many this series? Answer me now. I. Yep. Let's go. Think let's hear a do rag. Houston in six. Woo! Wow. Harden for MVP. Pardon me. Sorry. Dan Gladman. Who I you got? How many? OKC in seven. I think OKC is super dangerous and scary if you're going up against them. Herschel Dershowitz. Going with OKC in seven, and that's a tough one. The will of Russell Westbrook is just too overwhelming for a lot of people, and I think he's going to show MVP caliber and form in this series. I feel like he's okay. going to crumble like he did when it was the first time he went up against Durant again. Okay. He had that hunger. Here that we go. Intensity. Here we go. Let's flip sides now. Let's <laughs> go to the Eastern Conference. You've got the Cleveland Cavaliers in the two seed against the seven seeded Indiana Pacers. <laughs> My question, McFly, 
Yeah. Can LeBron James and the gang flip the switch again? Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah. You think yeah. the problems of, of March and April are behind them once the I, I, I think he's going to flip the switch for himself. I, the, as far as Cleveland's bench, that's a whole different story. Like, I have no faith in their bench whatsoever. Darren Williams doesn't inspire any confidence. <laughs> no, his, his, <laughs> he started, first of all, played majority of the game. Indiana's bench isn't so good either. They're not that good, but I still, Cleveland's bench has not been showing well, are we Are we talking championship level or are we just talking about playoff level? And Cleveland's bench has been through, through flux all season long. Mm -hmm. And who knew? that Matthew Del Vadova, mm. losing him would be so key. So People laugh, but the best duo with the highest per and the highest uh, plus minus in the league last year, LeBron Raymond James and Matthew Del Vadova. How? Because he- My question is, how do you not know Del Vadova's middle name? How do you think he, do you think he really has a middle name? Probably not. Stop exactly. playing. <laughs> so again, the loss of Matthew Del Vadova kills like the chemistry of that bench. Mm. He was that guy who you can bring in and he proved himself in two NBA Finals. To lose that and get, you know, Darren Williams, who's allergic to defense, and the other Williams, okay, I mean, let's whatever. Let's the other side of the ball, though, quickly. But, go, 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 go. Dante Jones. They just signed him. Okay. But regardless, they he's say he's somebody. so important he's good to for their a punch. team. Yeah, because he's going to run in and punch somebody Cle at some point. Cleveland's got a problem right. in this series. Indiana's going to beat him up a bit. That's my question. The, yeah. Does that's Paul my, George, that's my does Paul George return to superstar status? Abs absolutely. absolutely. Let, let's and, relax with all the hyperbole. It's gonna go six. You still have to beat LeBron, Raymond James four times in the East. Yep. The but is end. this Pacers team not better built for the playoffs in the regular season? Yeah, they, they the are, I the guess. Peaks. If they had Elf Jefferson, but he's not on the bench there. It's so all, when you have, they to have Stevenson. Boy, you have to count on Miles, the boy Allen. Miles and Turner. Turner. Uh, really? Turner. Miles Turner is gonna do work. Seraphin's a big body. I'm telling you that right now. Can we go to the next Bring segment? Bring Tristan. Bring in Tristan, Tristan right, up top. Okay, but, okay, okay. First off, who you got? How many? I just said them in six. Okay. McFly? The Cavs in six? Uh, yeah, Cavs in six. Dead. I got the Cavs, but I got it in seven, and Ooh. I think Indiana is going to tucker them out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's going to be beautiful. Okay, cool. Well, I guess with that said, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick, mm. you know what, just for fun? Oh. Pacers, Pacers in seven. <laughs> Pacers in seven. Go, I like I'm riding with, I'm riding I like with it. YG Trace. I like it. Pacers in seven. I like it. Still more to come here in Canada's home for talking hoops. It came down to the final game of the regular season. Get off me, man. I was looking for those rosary beads and rabbit's feet. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, it came down to the final game of the regular season, but the Clippers locked down the fourth seed. They will play the Utah Jazz. We will break that series down when we return here on Durags on TV. Hang out. <laughs>